should be live. Yay. Hey, everybody. I'm David. I'm Michael. And that's not Brenda, obviously. No. <laughs> Brenda's here with us, though. Hi. Way back. See? Way back there. But anyways, hey, you know me from OutsiderBubble.com. And uh, Michael is with us. And this is our YouTube feed that's currently happening right now. And it is live, as you can see. And if you're with us, you know that. So that's cool. And I'm just checking this to make sure we have audio and video. And we do. That's great. And now I can pause this. Um, we got our chat screen open up here, so I'll be able to check on chat stuff um, uh, as we go along. If we can answer any questions, we will. But understand, uh, this is more of a you can do it kind of thing. And Michael has done it. Yep. And not only has Michael done it, by the way, my, uh, back up. Um, I've had a few drinks. Only kidding. Not me. <laughs> Uh, Michael and I uh, have known each other for a while, ever since uh, Michael was getting a tip in motor coach and we came across each other, but Michael's actually known me a lot longer than I've actually known him because he's known me virtually through AVS Forum mm -hmm. uh, and other connections. And then he reached out to me one time uh, when he was buying his motor coach because we were doing our tip in and we became friends. Yep. And mostly we're virtual friends because we're never usually together except for once in a great while, like now. Yep. So it's like a really unique experience for us. Um, because we get to geek out and one of the things that we do to, that we do when we get together is not only spend money each other's money mm -hmm. <laughs> right a lot of it yeah usually <laughs> yeah much to the chagrin of our wives that's right so not only do we spend each other's money uh, on hey did you see this toy no I didn't see that oh my god I gotta get that like <laughs> he showed me this new soldering iron he has that is a USB chargeable soldering iron. Yes, I must get myself uh, one of these. USB powered. USB powered. Yeah, it doesn't have a battery. It doesn't have a battery. No. Oh, not but you can run it off of it. I saved you some money, Brenda. <laughs> so, any, I was just looking at this going, oh shit, it's not working. I remember I paused it. Um, <laughs> oops. So anyways, um, just so you're aware, uh, well, you know who I am, OutsiderBubble.com. Michael and his wife, Loop, has a, uh, a blog also that is called TurtleHerding.com. You've heard me mention this on my live drives. Yep. TurtleHerding.com. And we're here in beautiful Albuquerque, New Mexico, in the <clears throat> 30 to 3 degree weather <clears throat> with a 28 degree wind chill. Uh, and it's only going to get worse from this point forward until Saturday. You guys get to benefit from that. And one of the things that Michael did that has been long overdue, and I thank you for uh, working on this project. Sure. Because uh, I did not have the f to do it. Um, <laughs> Use your imagination there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, it is doing, doing smart, programmable thermostats in an RV. And yes, it's possible. And as you know, anybody who owns a Tiffin product, or for the most part, most motor coaches these days, mm -hmm. they use these... these, are, are these uh, Air Excel RV Comfort HP thermostats. These, These things. things. Okay? Those things right there. Any case, those things are, are dumb thermostats. And we have three of them. So every morning and every night, you get up and you change your thermostats. Because you have to. Because these coaches can, you know, they're not the most weatherproof. That's not the right word. Well... I think everybody generally sleeps at a different temperature yeah. than what they yes. operate at on the daytime as. So we've been wanting programmable thermostats to do day-night mode or to be programmable, programmable programmable, so we can actually set them in a home automation environment. As you know, I'm big into that, and so is Michael. Mm -hmm. um, so this is where this came from. And now Michael's history, Michael's got a very, very unique history. Michael actually was a submariner. Yep. Operated in a nuclear reactor on a fast attack submarine. Yeah, so I have no problem with him working with a soldering iron. Nope. Here, and hold this. And <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so Michael's got a vast history. Not only that, he is a Lennox guru. Uh, he, uh, he's, he was also responsible for the Coach, Pro Coach Proxy Project. Yep. The uh, CPP, as it's, you know, lo well, as we know it. As know, no one calls it. Nah, yeah, no, uh, but, but <laughs> us, me. Maybe it was the first time I've ever said it, but CPP works. The Coach okay. Proxy, Proxy Product Project. Project. Yeah, see, he knows. <laughs> any case this is what happens when we get together we just screw around and we do things and we thought you might like to watch yeah 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 because you never know people might like to watch so yeah. we're, we're doing it we decided we were at first talking about just doing it now, michael has this all on his blog turtleherding.com and it's already up there smart smart thermostats in your rv yes by michael published back in september yep and it, it walks you through it 
what parts you need to buy, how you do it, and this is for a Tiffin coach. Now, yep. not all Tiffin coaches are created equal, as we have all well learned. And we may see today. We'll see and out. we may see today as we pull this one apart. <laughs> yep. That's correct. We don't know what we're going to get into. Well, we kind of do, because his gear coach is different than my gear coach. But it was the same thermostat. That's the only yep. thing we have going for us. Same thermostats. Hopefully the same wiring module. Hopefully, well, we know we got the same air conditioners. Yep, we same know, aqua hot. We're same aqua hot. So we have those things all in common. So that's good. Yep. So, yeah, Mike, Michael has a vast knowledge of not only submarines, but also, uh, and thank you for your service, of thank course. You. And um, but he's a he's a Linux programmer. He's a he's a cloud storage expert. I mean, uh, like high level cloud storage. Fix guy, the guy you go to for fixing things, but large companies. Yeah, you know, like Amazon. Don't, don't call me about Apple, no, iTunes, no, no, storage, no, 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 or no, iCloud, no. or anything. Nothing yeah, like that. We're talking big scale. Yeah, I help cloud companies not lose your data. Yes, and like, what's the biggest server you work on? Storage um, server size. Twenty five petabytes petabytes so for a sense of scale most of your laptops are a couple hundred gigabytes so 1024 gig is a terabyte and 1024 terabytes is a petabyte and i work on stuff in the 25 petabyte range lots of data yeah. so michael has a lot of knowledge in that brain of his and we're going to tap into it for this little little project here Upgrading, which is why we're all here, and I'm, I've been kind of mauling along just so we can get our viewers to come in because sometimes it takes a little while for people to uh, get the ping about we're live yep. and then they join us. So we've been kind of stalling a little bit here. So uh, that's by design. Sorry about that. But now let's get to why we're let's here get busy. and let's get into the uh, let's let's put in a smart thermostat and what possibly could go wrong doing this. Brenda's on. We got fire extinguisher control, so we're good to go. So, Michael, take it away. What's involved in this project? Uh, so we're gonna be removing the thermostat, this one, and then we're going to be cutting the wires off of the thermostat to reuse in our application. Uh, we're going to use a screw gun. We're gonna use a soldering iron. We've got some heat shrink to make everything nice and neat. We have a relay to go in to handle the difference that an RV heat pump has over a residential heat and pump. And if I understand that correctly, that's the big difference, that in the thermistor? Yes. And we will be installing a new thermistor. I don't know if you can even see that. Little tiny thing or big thing, depending on... Uh, yeah, I, I don't know that that even comes through. Well, but anyway. it's a, we try. We, yeah. we, we mean well. So uh, the thermistor is needed because the temperature sensor in the room that's connected remotely to the thermostats for RV thermostats, at least on the ones we we have, is completely different than what's used in the uh, home space. And that's so, just not Tiffin. Correct. That is most RV manufacturers because they all use the same type of thermostat system, which sucks, yep. as we all know. And this is for the Coleman Mach Air Series uh, for the heat pump that we have. And then we also have aqua hot systems for uh, gas or electric fired heat as well. Uh, so we're gonna be able to control all of that through the thermostat. The other big thing is most residential ther systems don't have two speed fan systems like we do in RVs. High and low. Yep, so what we're gonna do is set it up as a multi-stage so that the thermostat itself will automatically kick the fan speed too high if the temperature is too high or too below your set point. And then it'll automatically switch it back down to low once the temperature comes in range. Now, is that based on a delta swing? Uh, it the, is. the amount of difference between what temperature it's set at and what it actually is currently reading? Yes, exactly. Okay. And unfortunately, I haven't found a way to change that delta, what that temperature is. I believe, based on my experience, it's about two degrees. So if the temperature is more than two degrees above your set point, it kicks on to high fans. Then once it gets down, um, you can actually change this operation. It, you can set it to where once it gets within two degrees, it drops to low, or you can have it run high until it gets all the way to the set point. Then the next cycle, it'll be low. I see. Yeah. Well, so we'll, we'll have to figure out, and that, that's a user preference at that point. Yes. Um, so what we'll do is, this is this is just so you're aware, and again, this is on turtleherding.com, okay? 
Uh, he has this all documented. If you mm -hmm. use his links, they're, they're, they link you to every product you need to do this project. If you're proficient in soldering um, and, yep. and you feel comfortable doing this, you too can do this and you know putting in a relay or what have you. I technically could do this project, you guys know that, but I'm here with Michael, so we have to geek out. And I, I yep. promised Michael more or less, hey, you know, we got some projects we want to do. I want to have some fun with you. Let's do this live. And he's like, I'm for it. So I went um, and got all gussied up. He gussied up. That's right. <laughs> and he's wearing a Tesla shirt, and there's a reason for that too. We'll talk about that a little later. But in any case, um, so amongst the relay and the thermistor that you need and the little harness that you need. Um, you also need this Honeywell, and in our particular case, the sorry, hit the microphone. In our particular case, what Michael has used uh, to do this with, and there's a reason. Uh, this in, th in this case, and I'm not sure if this will be the same for other thermostats or not. Michael, you might be able to answer that. Right, we'll talk about that. Okay, this is a T6 Pro Z-Wave thermostat. Z-Wave meaning Z-Wave is a protocol, a communication protocol that is used in home automation situations. And we're using it because Michael and I both have something called HomeSeer that will talk over the Z-Wave interface, which allows us to then remotely talk to these thermostats. Yep. Now, I'm not sure if there's Wi-Fi versions of this and things like that yeah. that can be used or if... You, so there can, are Wi-Fi versions. Because I know the question we're going to get. One second. Yes. Hang on. The Go question we're going to get is, can I use a Nest thermostat? Right. And the answer is no. For the most part. Wah, so, wah, wah. <laughs> so the problem is uh, residential heating and cooling systems operate off of a 24 volt AC signal. And the most smart thermostats expect that 24 volts AC. If they don't have that, they will fall back to battery generally with some limited functionality, but they expect that 24 volt AC to come back. So it's not a full featured thermostat when it's running on battery. It's just basically holding on to things and making sure nothing goes out of whack with your AC system or whatever. Uh. Um, but it, it expects that 24 volts AC to come back, otherwise it won't really work properly. So the trick is you have to find a thermostat for your RV that either runs exclusively on battery or, you know, it, it and in can. this case, three AAA batteries. Yep, three uh, or AA. AA batteries. Yeah, three AA me. batteries. Uh, or there are some rare thermostats that will run on 12 volt DC. Um, unfortunately, the company that made a Z Wave smart thermostat that operated on 12 volt stopped making them. So well, you can't really find those. It's kind of glad we didn't put one in then. Yes. Especially if they stopped manufacturing them. Yes. However, these are still available. Yep, very well, much so. Never, and I, obviously, I bought three of them because, of course, again, three zones in an RV. This is a 45 foot. Yep. Uh, I, I should, pers I should, pers I'm sorry, I should have put this out there. This is a 2014 Tiffin Allegro bus model 45 LP. Actually, it would probably be the same for any. 45 foot Tiffin product, if you will, uh, they because mm -hmm. they have used the same thermostats and the th the same Aqua Hot and the same uh, heat, pumps. heat pumps and everything the ACs for years. Yep. So um, this should be the same for any Tiffin coach. Yeah. I know mine is a mine is a 2016 Allegro bus. 45 OP, uh, same thermostat, same hardware. Uh, we're gonna see if they get the same wiring or not here in a minute. But, I'm gonna uh, guess they do. I'm hoping. Yeah. But uh, there's no there's no doubt that it might not be um, different. Yep. And the batteries, like Michael said, the battery thing is important because we got to make sure we maintain programmability and what have you. And um, it does have instructions. We're not gonna use those. Oh yeah 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 yeah. Wait 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 wait. <laughs> I talked about do I talked about that. I talked about going like this and saying. I, we talked a little bit before we went live, and I said, yeah, the instructions, I can just show them to people and say, ah, we don't need those. Oh, look, those are in French. Oh, German, too. Don't need those either. Okay. For Stanzi Deutsch? No, I only the dog. Oh, okay. Only, only, only yeah. Loki. Only, only Loki coming. speaks German. Right. That's right. <laughs> uh, we don't even understand German. Loki does. We don't. He's a German shepherd. He's a German shepherd. You know what he can do. Right. So, um... I guess we're going to start working on this project yeah. then. What do you think? I, I also have a few miscellaneous tools, um, a uh, wire cutter, little nips so we can cut down close, uh, wire stripper, very, very handy. Um, have a uh, lighter For to the melt shrink? the heat shrink and uh, a couple of screw bits to take stuff off the walls and ceiling. And uh, yeah. And I you got me. To help. And you. Yeah. To help. To <laughs> supervise. Well, yeah. Well, that's, well somewhat. This, by the way, this is hot now. So. Don't touch that. Don't touch. Don't touch that. Um, 
So I, we got a lot of people out there, and they're they're asking where Brenda is. <laughs> she, she's over on the couch. Yeah. she's safe. We don't we didn't tie her up yeah. or anything. Say hello, Brenda. Hello. Confirm proof of life. <laughs> so First yeah, today's newspaper. Brenda's with us. She's she's over there. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, she's with us. Don't worry about that. Um, some of our regulars always look for Brenda. I don't know why. You're chatting online. Yeah. You oh. are, are you on YouTube? Oh, wonderful. Oh. So I'll let you do that then. You can let us know if any very important questions come up, okay? Brenda will be our, our chat monitor. Chat and monitor, she'll let, yeah. us, she'll let us know. And I'll switch back over to our instruction sheet because Michael doesn't remember how to do this. I, I just want to make sure I remember the wiring because it hey, has hey, been hey. two months. He, and he, Michael does have, like I said, the, I don't know, you can't see this, but again, on turtleherding.com, it's all there. And... Um, just so you know, and it's all listed, all the all the links and everything. Please use them because um, disclaimer: Amazon credits yep. are are applied. Uh, we get credits for links to Amazon, um, and if you click on images, they'll blow up for you. Uh, it's taking a second because we're streaming live. Well, just trust me. Yeah, there it goes. Oh, there we go. So you can see he's got all these nice images for you, showing you exactly. You can actually leave that one up. That'll be the first one we need. Okay, I'll leave that there then. <laughs> okay. It's just for tipping. Uh, actually, it should work for any Dometic, uh, or I'm sorry, not Dometic, Coleman Mock Air. And actually, a buddy of mine does have Dometic, and he was able to swap his out with these instructions as well. Oh, wonderful. Yep. So, so basically, any RV Comfort HP system, if yep. you will. Or, yeah, even the, the um, Dometic system, which isn't the Mock stuff. It's uh, different uh, Penguin Air or something, or I can't even remember. But. So there are some parts in here you may or may not care to use, like this one here. This is this the backing plate, um, which yeah. is just kind of large and, you know, it's, just... It's really made for uh, if you remove a thermostat off the wall and it has a very big opening that this won't cover by itself, then j this will allow you to cover, cover a larger it, opening. Which we won't have the issue with on the co different yep. coaches. So we'll just set that aside, and we're going to let Michael take it away with how we're going to start the process. Oh, well, first is uh, we got to take the thermostat off the wall. So the if you want to... thermostat? That's the first thing? Yep. Of course it is, because you need the wiring harness. So we're going to turn off the heat here, and then we're going to pull the thermostat cover off. Then we're going to take out these two square drive. If you don't have square drive, technically Phillips will work, but it'll probably be a little tougher to get a good grip in there. Hi, Loki. Loki's, oh, Loki's coming with to us. Loki's with us. And then we'll pull this out. Now there should be down in here. And this is the fun part because you never know oh, what you're going to find. Yeah, this is. Uh, uh oh. May have to push your. Uh oh. See, oh. that was my fear that we should have tested this before we started the live feed. <laughs> yeah, so the, um, I can feel the harnesses down in there. There they come. There they come. There it is. Woo. I mean, technically I could just chop this and do it all right here, but I'd much rather have... Access to the harness. Yes. It's much easier for soldering and everything. So there's the second one. And the third one. Yay! Exactly as we expected. <laughs> there's not much room behind that wall. There is not. Actually, that's going to be a problem for the relay because there's not enough thickness there. Uh -oh. This is like a 5 8 thick. Here, check your relay. Yep. So we may have to... S yeah, there's no way. Oh, shit. See, told you we should have tested it first. Well, so I thought this was a fake panel. Like, that up there sounds... That's just hollow behind there, doesn't oh. it? Oh. Is that a So it looks like they a put wood? a wide facer board here for these things to screw into, but it doesn't extend on back here. So we'll have to figure that out. Yeah, we may need to uh, order a thinner relay. Oh boy. To finish this out. Oh, well, we can do the other ones. Okay, so we'll do a different one. Oh, great. See, this is fun going live, isn't it? <laughs> it it's, 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 this is, I told Michael, Michael, we should really check these things before we do this. Oh, it'll be fine, he says. It will be. It's more fun this way though, I do have to admit. So now I get to stuff all these back in there. Don't worry, guys. We got two more re two more thermostats we can do this with. In theory. <laughs> in theory. True. In theory. Good point. They have thinner relays. Well, yeah, they have. They do make uh, thinner profile relays. So we'll we'll have to take a look at that. Why the hell well, we would have... you buy those to begin with? Well, because my walls are nice and hollow back there. Oh, I, I got see. Tons of room. So I'm just starting this by hand, so that I'll. Be able to put that back on. And I'm just hand holding this camera, guys. Just so yeah. You know. Sorry about the uh, stability. Yeah, that's me. I shake as normal. Stable help is tough to find. Yeah. 
So we're just putting this back. Oops. And we're just going to change our... I, uh, they, all, they always seem to enjoy my oops moments. I don't know why. You had this on electric heat. Is that where you want it? Or just off for now? Uh, you can just turn it off for now. It's okay. Uh, it's, all right. Okay, so I'm going to put these guys back on the well, battery wait charger. Wait we got to go. I know we got to move, but I'm going to put them on okay. the bigger battery pack. Oh, okay. So that way, that way. Uh, you guys are go. staring at my gut. I feel all so fast. Yeah, it's okay. So we're going to move back to the bedroom. <laughs> Come on, Michael. Let's go to the bedroom. Yeah. Now, actually, what I'm going to do, hang on one second. Wait, what? 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 Say what? I'm going to put you guys down right here so you don't get too sick. Hang on. <laughs> oh. I'm going to grab a tripod. Tripod. Because if I keep holding the camera, guys, you're going to get really sick from the from the motion. Go ahead and start working on that. Okay. And there's two of them. So this yeah, is going to be Yeah, we'll do the real, mid because well, the mid will be nice and handy for... Wow. There's this... this Oh, that was because, yeah, they, Michael just pulled this <laughs> wad of stuff out of there wondering, what the hell is that? Yeah, it's paper. Live. Well, yeah. No, no, it's paper towel. Do you want to know why? The reason is because the damn relay in there, when it turns on, like, the heater and stuff, it goes click, and it's mm -hmm. really loud. And so I use this to muffle the relay click. I, I'm not sure the new thermostat's going to help that. Uh-oh. Yeah. Seriously? Yeah. Don't tell me that now. <laughs> That was my whole paper towel moment. It sh it made the uh, it made the click quiet because I muffled oh, yeah. it. Come on, that was ingenious. <laughs> now just bear with me, guys. I'm screwing the camera onto a tripod right now, so if you bounce around, I apologize. I, I just blew all your dust back in the hole because. Oh, from my from the smart. Yep. The smart control valves. Yep. Okay, so here we got tons of room. Yay. Easy. Let me show that. Oh, you know what? I should have turned this off first. Before you blow it up? Well, before I disconnect it. Well, Brenda's got the fire extinguisher ready. Don't oh, this worry, one's Don't worry off. about that one. She's got the fire extinguisher. <laughs> All right. So it looks like Tiffin has uh, pre-broke some of the tabs for us, so it's easier to disconnect. Wonderful. Great. Yeah. Thank you, Tiffin. See, they knew we were going to do this because yep. they knew they, they, they knew we hated these things. All right, so there's the thermostat we're going to replace. Bye-bye. And we're actually going to use these wires on the new thermostat to make it nice and easy. And I'm ready to... Oh, we're going out there now? Yeah, that was it? We're going back in here. Oh, gee. And I did this whole tripod thing for nothing? Well, no, I'm sure the viewers appreciate it. Oh, man. See, look, that's what he did. He just disconnected that from there. And now we're going to come out here. All right. And... Whoa. Woo, we're way up high. Woo, hang on. See, this is live, guys. This is, this is, you get what you get when we go live. Can they even see? I'm going to get it working. Okay. Don't worry, buddy. Hey, I got to enjoy my 10 minutes of fame. Hey. You want to plug back in so it keeps charging? Yeah, I'll do that too. Why not? Oh, I'll bounce it around. Sorry, guys. Woo, woo, have fun. I'm telling you, stable help. Tough to find. <laughs> <laughs> you love me, you know it. Yeah. Okay, so what are we doing now? Uh, so we're going to cut these wires off. <laughs> Great. He's Extreme gonna... close up. <laughs> there you go. He's gonna... and, uh, oh. it really now, doesn't... once you do this, it's that's it, man. We've got going, no, it's not going back from here. Technically, I could re-solder the wires. But... Just don't cut them too short. Right. That's that's why I leave a little bit on there. Okay. Oh, he did it. We snipped. That's it. Yep. That thermostat, uh-oh. No, I don't want to. Womp, womp, womp. <laughs> yep, fine. All right. I don't think they need that close up on this. Okay. So now we're just going to be doing this really cool wire stripper thingy that I also own. I own the same thing. He had to have one when he saw mine. Yeah, shut up, Michael. You copied me. You know it. So see there? Strip both wires at once. Woo! Very, very handy. Magic. I'm opening up in case you hear a crinkling. I'm, I'm not rolling a joint or anything. I'm, I'm getting the batteries out for the thermostat. How are we going online, online there, babe? Anybody asking any questions or are they just enjoying the, the, the pregame show? They're just enjoying it. Okay, that's good. Square drive is called a Robertson or a Robbie bit. Yep, yep. I don't know what that meant. Why not remote the relay so you don't hear because uh, the relays are built into the thermostat. They're oh, actually is inside. This, oh, you're not talking about this relay? No, no, no. That one, once, that one will only actuate once you switch to heat mode for the heat pump or out of heat pump mode. That's the only time this will click. Yeah. There's relays inside here, though, that will actually click on and off to 
to make the thermostat. The, the, the thermostat, the, the clicking I was referring to when we took out the paper towel silencer. Come on, that's ingenious. Um, hey, whatever works, man. Yeah, and, and Brenda goes, is that gonna start a fire? <laughs> so anyways, um, the, the, the relay I was silencing was actually inside the thermostat. And it, would, it was just a loud annoying because it was all built around plastic and everything. And so it just, and you, anybody who owns a Tiffin hears that click. There's no way you don't hear the click. And, it, and since we had two of those in our bedroom, I would hear that at night trying to sleep. And, and, and it just was annoying. So paper towel came to the rescue for muffling it. Yep. Now, let's see. I think this one will be tough to take apart to put a paper towel in. Oh, man. Yeah. It probably would void your warranty if you did. Oh, wait, there's maybe a screw hole there. Okay. I'll start ripping apart. Right. <laughs> easy, Tiger, easy. You know how I like to take things apart. I Hey, you and me both. That's right. That's true. Okay, so... Can I put the batteries in yet? Uh, sure, you can take, oh, put the batteries cool. in. It might do something, like beep or something. Uh, yep. Ooh, never know what will happen. When so we're uh, taking the wall plate that actually the wiring interface for the thermostats and we're going to make it look just like that one. Like he said, like this one that you guys can go to on turtleharden.com. Yes, that's the real name. Yes, turtles because RVers carry their home on their back. See? And we're herding across the country. There's a whole reason for it. I just, you know, didn't want to get into it. <laughs> I just thought it was like... Hey, we're killing time. You know, that's right. He's soldering and shit. So. What is the name of the wire tool? Oh, this thing? Uh, this one is actually a vice grip brand, but you can find many different ones. Um, they look like this. Yep. And basically what happens is when you put the wires in here, when you squeeze it, this one pinches down and holds on to the insulation. This one here cuts to the insulation right to the wire point, And then when you continue squeezing, it pulls the, the insulation right off. And just so you can see better... I'll point to the side because David was blocking. Oh, was I? So this one grips when you squeeze? That's what I Here. said. That's what you said. There's no more light. Yeah, there's no more That's light. That's all you get. And then this one pinches down through the insulation and cuts and then pulls it away. That's what I said. I know, but you had your hands over. Did Nobody I? Could see was it. I like this? Yep, pretty much. Oh, damn. Uh, and you can set the uh, gauge here to change how much insulation you take off. Or you can flip that completely down out of the way if you want to like strip into the middle of the wire. And you can also adjust the tension. Yeah, yeah, get back to solder, okay, Mr. Okay. Mr. Widget. <laughs> We're killing time here. Time's right. precious. We got three of these to do and so, one we can't do now. And my wife's going to be all upset by that. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll, we'll punch a hole in the wall if we have to. We can just move the fridge. That's true. All right, so yellow goes to Y. Y, because we like you. Get it? Why? We like, yeah. yeah. Why? I, I because just, you we know, like well. you. Okay, I'll stop. <laughs> No, please don't. It makes me look better. Okay. Uh, the red goes to R. You don't have to look better, Michael. You're cute. Aw, uh, thank you. Bromance. <laughs> and uh, let's see here. We've got a white wire that goes to W2. By the way, one of the best things Honeywell ever did is put, came down on these push connectors. Yeah, they're really nice. You just push I don't know down. if you can even see it, but you can push down on the edge. Wow, that's really close up. It'll work. And then uh, stick the wire in the hole. Stick it right in there. And then release. That's it. Oh, actually, that's a bad one. Don't Oops. show that one. Oh, hey, we'll have to edit that out. No, oh, can't do it. Live. It's live. We're live. Sorry, you said, hey, let's go live. Yep. One of the wires, actually, one, one of the little strands kicked out. So I, I, I just, I fixed that. Don't want to short. Just for the record. Don't want the short. Nope. Nope. All right. And then uh, we got a white black wire that goes in the OB port. What's OB stand for? Um, just so it's a, uh, right. No, OB is actually the, one that switches, it's normally for a reversing valve on um, heat pumps. Mm. And we're gonna use this output to actually drive the relay so that it basically emulate, emulates, emulates the heat pump. The heat pump, yep. By the way, uh, if you notice, I'm like really, my face is bright red. That's because I've been out in Windburn. I don't know why, it's not windy out here. Mm, Only 30 miles an hour. No, yeah, and, and, and right now, 32 degrees. Um, yeah, we, we, as Michael sits here and wires us away, um, yeah, we've been doing a few projects as the last couple days, actually. We've been very busy, and one of which will come soon. Uh, we'll be doing a video on it, and to, to, we're, we're, uh, I'm just going to let them know now, just so we, they know sure, it's coming. It. How's that? Yeah. Um, we, Michael came up with a way to use an EV vehicle 
with a motor an electric coach, vehicle. Yep. An electric vehicle. Um, and so Michael owns a Tesla Model X. We just purchased a Tesla Model X. So that's another reason we're here is so we actually rewired the motor coach so we can charge the Tesla X off the same 50 amp plug that the coach is plugged into. Yep. Really cool. And that's a project, if you guys are ever interested in EV vehicle, we'll have a video on that, uh, basically a voiceover video. We'll be mm -hmm. talking about it, like we are kind of now, but showing images of what we did because we did it yesterday in the really cold weather because tomorrow is actually going to be worse and today it was actually worse than yesterday. So, And this was after we put in six solar panels on top of Michael's trailer. Car hauler. <laughs> Car yeah. hauler. So we installed six solar panels yesterday also. Ta-da! All wired in. Just mm -hmm. like the picture. Yep, just like the picture. Now, oh wait, there's a blue wire. David, <gasps> what about the blue wire? Don't cut the blue wire. Don't cut the blue wire? Are you sure? No. I, what about the blue wire? I don't know. What do we do with the blue wire? The blue wire doesn't get used. Okay. So we actually... We, we do cut the blue wire. Oh, you do cut <sighs> You should have let me do that. Oh, yeah. That, that, that way you I are, couldn't mess it up. You are proficient with snips, yeah. <laughs> I, yes, I, I, I cut a few wires the wrong thing. <laughs> All right, so we cover that up. Now we get to cut more wires. Okay. Yep. Which ones? Uh, well. Let's pretend we're, let's pretend it's a bomb. Let's, uh, let's go back. I'm not Mac oh. friendly. Okay, here we go. So now we're going to wire in the relay, and that actually will be using the blue wire, so I, I shouldn't have cut that here. Hang on. Oh, no. You heard, it. you heard it. You heard him say it. Dave was trying to steal my wire. No, I have a set of those. Hey, you could always use two. Well, not really. No? no. One in both hands, double fisted? And they can't put the wire in. Well, that's what Brenda's for. <laughs> She's your assistant. All right. So now we're going to cut the yellow and white and black wire. Again, I'll just zoom in. So yeah, in case so this is all picture, you know, picture pages it's, here on the website. It's online again. It's also described in text. So if you're not a picture follower, you can uh, follow along with actual written word. So if you really want to see this, just pause your video now. <laughs> Ready, Turtle, Michael? Tur Ready? Turtleherding.com. Ready, Michael? Pause. Pause. Okay. <laughs> A moment of silence for our fallen <laughs> viewers. Uh, okay. All right, so we cut the uh, white with black wire. Yep. And now we're going to cut the yellow wire. It's like diffusing a bomb. I mean, no, not at all like a nuclear a bomb. submarine. Okay. How's that sound? Sure. And that's it. We got four now, wires. Now what? Five wires with the blue. Now we uh, strip those back with the handy dandy tool. Yep. It is the coolest tool ever. The only downside of this is sometimes it gets uh, the stripped part stuck Caught in, in there. it, and it makes it not work to strip the other wire. So you really got to get you, those you out. You got to give it a dollar. Somebody's knocking at the door. Yeah. Somebody's ringing the bell. Not kidding. Somebody's knocking on the door right now. There's a prison nearby, so maybe we shouldn't answer that. There actually is right next door to the RV park. <laughs> I'm not kidding. <laughs> Uh. Mike, what? Oh, what was that? We have a shout out request. Oh, great. Yes. We don't get those enough as it no, is. No, no, not, not but nearly But this enough. is a special one. This is a special one. Are you ready? Go ahead. Ow, that's hot. <laughs> <laughs> he warned me about it. He yes, warned me. Yes, I did. Thanks. So, hi, Mom. Hi, Mr. B. How are you guys? Love you guys. Thanks for watching. I love you too. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> He's my friend. We're good friends That's here. That's your mom? That's my mom, yeah. That's your mom? My mom and my stepdad, yeah. Hi, and mom. Uh, maybe even my uncle. Maybe my brother's watching too. What you don't know is. Oh, sorry. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm only messing with you. you they hey, have no we're idea. We're not underway. They, they have no idea we're who not we are. Underway. They have no idea no. that we have a YouTube channel and all that stuff. And they don't no. know I've been married 25 years to my wife back there. So it's okay. It's all good. I'm just having a little fun here because I, you know, I, I don't have anything to do in this project, which is great. Right. So for people who don't solder regularly, we'll get, let's, let's get back to the regular yeah, schedule yeah, yeah, program yeah, yeah. here. Um, this is a, a tip cleaner. So before you go touching this dirty soldering tip to your fresh clean wires. Not to your skin. Nope. That, that bad. Yeah. Maybe you've touched it to your skin, do and that's that. why you need to clean it. <laughs> like as in this did. case, yeah. So uh, you you want to clean the tip off. A lot of people will use a uh, wet sponge for this. 
and that's perfectly fine, uh, especially if you don't solder very often. Or paper towel wet. I wet do, paper I, towel. That's what I do. Yep. So I'm just going to pre-tin the wires. Oh, Somebody actually said that. If you tin the wires first before trying to press them into the connector, the strand graded wires won't separate and potentially short to other connections. That's so true. the problem with that is that if you pre-tin the wires, most of these wires will be too thick to go into the terminal, which is why I didn't do that. Uh, uh, so I, And the push connectors for the Honeywell. Correct, for, for the Honeywell. Now, I am pre-tinning these because I'm getting ready to solder them together to the wires from the uh, relay. Oh, How hang on. How does this work with coaches where heating and cooling is controlled by Spiker system? That's what we. Uh, oh, yeah. So we, you would not really would not. be able to do that with the spider system. But you would if you use Coach Proxy, but unfortunately, Coach Proxy doesn't they exist anymore. Hear me, so I, they don't know. Yeah. Okay. So the question was, um, how would this be different if using on a Tiffin product with spider controls, controlling the thermostat, controlling the heating and cooling? And uh, the answer is, you really can't do this on those because um, the wiring for a thermostat doesn't actually exist. Uh, it's actually controlled over a data network. But uh, you can go to coachproxy.com and find instructions on how to build a Coach Proxy yourself, if you're handy, and the software is free to download to Flash. Uh, so once you grab all the hardware, you can program it, and uh, you would have control of your spider-controlled heating and cooling through your coach proxy, through your phone or... Don't uh, ask. Don't ask us how to do it. Don't ask us how... This is why we that, that company was sold to somebody else. And uh, we had too many people not understanding what it was that they bought. Yeah. Right? Yep. Even though it was simple to use, they didn't understand the fact that they needed Wi-Fi for it to work fully. But anyways, we won't get into that. Coach proxy was, still is, an awesome product. Yep. And it's still available in open source. Yep. So I'm going to trim back... Uh, the wires on this because they um, they pre-cut the insulation, but they cut them for quite long, so we just don't need that much. So I'm just. Will this work on a Coleman Mach AC, not a heat pump? Original thermostat controls propane furnace. Uh, yes, it will work on a non-heat pump Coleman Mach with a propane furnace. Uh, the insulation will be almost identical, except you won't need the relay. Um, or the relay harness, as it were. Uh, you also may not need the thermistor because a lot of RV thermostats use the thermostat or the temperature sensor inside the thermostat, which this has one of. But because our Tiffins have thermostats not located necessarily in the zone that they control, Correct. they use remote thermostats, which is why we need to replace the thermistor. For example, as you saw in the bedroom, there was two thermostats stacked on top of each other. One of those was the back half of the coach and one of them was the mid coach. But the thermostats themselves were located right there in the same position. So therefore, the thermistors, the temperature sensors, um, are, are wired remotely and 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 the ceiling of the motor coach and that's why we're replacing them with these little little thermistors hey meester I can't where's pick your thermistor i can't pick it up so never mind so anyways yeah so that yeah. so what he said there, there you go. thank you no problem Let's screw you <laughs> anyways <laughs> this thing did i attend that one already and we're gonna have to actually literally take that out of the ceiling cut the old one out put it in and this is where brenda goes are you sure you want to do that so I'm trusting Michael in this particular yep. case because he's running it in his motor coach. What could possibly go wrong? Not much. Then again, Michael's the guy who put Tesla batteries in his motor coach for power. So also we won't detailed even, on also, yeah, yeah, also detailing, we won't get into that. I built a remote observatory and put Tesla batteries in the remote observatory. And he's freaking building his freaking, the, the solar panels I mentioned earlier today about putting six... 360 watt solar yep. panels, six, 360 watt solar panels on top of his 22 foot trailer. 24. Come on, Excuse don't shortchange me. 24 don't, foot trailer. Yeah. <laughs> yes, he's putting you four remember, Tesla batteries, four Tesla battery modules in that. You were the one that told me size matters. Yes, so, it says know, it on the back of my coach, mind you. Yep. So we're just soldering along here. La 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 la. So, anything else going on out there? You guys going to have a good time while we're waiting for Michael to finish his job here? Whew, man, this is tough. Hey, switch, switch back over to my... Uh, oh, you need instructions? Yeah, my instruction. There we go. Perfect. That's all I need. So, the yellow and white go towards the thermostat. Yellow and white. 
Give me your white wire. I understand, we're doing this live. We could have done this a lot faster if we edited it together, but isn't this much more fun? Oh, sorry, blue and white go towards the Don't hit the wrong one, Michael. Yeah, yeah. We don't want to need cross to hold, streams. Need me to hold something? Um, nah, I mean, it's, He doesn't it's, want me to touch it. I understand. I, uh, safety margin. Yeah, 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 yeah. We need a safety margin. Is that what it is? So, oh, now he's gotta get these, here you go, here you go. What's he gonna do? How's he gonna I do just, it? How's uh, he gonna do it? Need to finish tinning this a little bit. It didn't get enough on it. Okay, there you go, good. Are you thrilled? I, yeah, Are not, you on the edge of your seat uh, yet? Are you not entertained? <laughs> All right, so we got two wires on the thermostat side that go up here. Bring you back down here. So we pretend these so that all I need to do is come in and heat these two wires together. And they magically stick together. Now, did you want to put shielding in there or, or, or shrink wrap, or are we going to tape them? Oh, crap. Good point. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. Who gets the bonus points? Yeah, I, bonus point to I, David. I get the bonus points. All See, right. I'm sitting there going, he's going to want to shrink wrap those because the picture yes. shows that. So I get the bonus points. Good call, David. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you. So we need five, so that's uh, two and a half. All right, so I cut these in half. because hey, Guys, get a drink. This is going to be a while. Oh, come on. It's not <laughs> I can't wait till we plug it in and see what happens. Wee. What's that smoke coming out of your top of your AC unit? <laughs> Why is your aqua hot making that sound? Yeah, well, you know. You never know. Living on the edge. Living on the edge. Live stream, just winging it. Hey, we do that a lot. When, yeah, we, we, travel, when we travel live, we stream live, you don't know what's going to happen. You've heard me swear at the steering wheel. And other drivers. Yeah, well, that's what I meant. We have some of our regulars watching, Mac from uh, Argentina. Hey, Mac. And uh, Brad Coley and Jeff Branding. Jeff Branding's out there, Brad Coley, Mac from Argentina. Hey guys, some of our regulars who follow us when we travel live. All right. Just asked if um, we can, if he can play this back later if it's being recorded. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like our live streams usually are, this is uh, this will be played back. You'll be able to play this back. No, you have to do it right now. Follow along. Yeah. Go <laughs> grab your thermostat. Actually, again, who was asked? Who asked man, that man? Jeff. Jeff. Hey Jeff, just turtle herding, turtle herding .com. The documents are right there. We're just doing it live just for fun. Because we're... Because we can. Masochist. Well, we're something. Ooh, blow on it, Michael. I did. Okay. Blue white. goes to yellow. It sounds weird. White goes to white and black. That's, that's the way it is. Just live with it. Blow, David, blow. <laughs> blow like the wind. Get it fixed, get it in there. All right, and then uh, yellow goes to white black on the connector side. Yep, see there's a different connector over there you gotta use, different connector. Here we go. This is why you pre tin them, because then they easily go together once you melt them to the temperature using your USB controlled. Powered. USB, po USB, USB powered, powered soldering iron. That one didn't flow very well. I need a different angle. Oh no. There we go. There she blows or flows. Oh, now he screwed it up. It no, I, broke just, it. I just need he to broke bend it. it a little he bit. He broke it. He just doesn't want to admit it. <laughs> Shh, we're live, David. I know, but I'm just calling it like it is there, buddy. Joseph Connor says, thank you for answering my question. Loving the show. And David should consider doing a stand-up comedy. Just kidding. Love the show. <laughs> just kidding, yeah. <laughs> I love the just kidding part. Thank you very yep. much. Remember, they can't hear me. They can't hear you. They might be able to hear you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we should mic Brenda. We'd actually only have two mic packs, though. I got a mic pack. You got a, you got a, you got it may a... may not be compatible with yours. I was going to say, you, you have, you have a pro mic pack. I, I don't doubt you have pro gear of some sort, but I'm just saying I don't think you would have a compatible. Because you don't do this live. You don't do stuff no, like this. No, generally not. I, I do have uh, a wireless mic pack for myself and my wife, just in case we oh, decide to. Wait, wait, that sounded funny. <laughs> Sorry. I okay. have a wireless mic pack for myself and my wife. Well, when we want to go live, you know, when we want to stream <laughs> and we want to be hands-free. That's crooked. I mean, it, it still works, but it's crooked. I don't oh, like it. Oh, man, I was got to fix it again. This is why we have these videos that are so freaking long. I told Michael, make sure, it's, oh. make sure you do this quick, Michael. How's that go again? Okay. You know. Got it? If 
I had a stable assistant, oh. I would trust them with a wire. You won't let me touch it. I, I know, asked if I wanted to do it, and you said, no, nah, you don't have to. I should have left it alone the first time. Should have. If you solder it more than three times, you're playing with it? Is that the, Basically is that the rule? That's okay. it. All right, so we got all the soldering done. Now I'm going to turn this off so David doesn't burn himself. You're going to need that for over there, though. Oh, yeah. Hey, well, gonna... we're, we're going to have to unplug and move because okay. we need the extension cord. Uh, yeah. See, but, so, gonna, yeah, okay. And we're, we're going to go old school with the heat shrink. We're actually going to use... Can I use the flame? I, I, I'm really not comfortable with you holding the flame. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> ma -nam, ma -nam. Ba -ba -na -na -na. So ma -nam. a lot of people will complain that I'm using a lighter to do heat shrink. Go ahead. And, Sing out. Complain now. Yep. And they will say that... Using a lighter on heat shrink leaves soot. Well, the trick is you don't leave it in the yellow. You, you use the blue, the blue of the flame on the heat shrink. Use the blue. And then you don't get soot. Ta-da! Like I said, manam manam. Ba -ba -na -na. Let's ba -na not get copyright taken down. Da -da -da -da. That's right. Ba -da -ba -da. Come on. Ba -da 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 oh, I just got I really loud. I, I probably just uh, clipped the probably microphone. Peaked. Yeah, probably, yeah, peaked, probably the peaked the microphone. Oh, he's still playing with fire. Oh, yeah. Brenda got the extinguisher ready? Yeah. Okay, good. We got two more. Two more. Almost there. Isn't this thrilling? Thrill a minute. I have a feeling we're getting a... Uh... <laughs> we're getting people turning off quicker than ever. Yeah. They don't really enjoy pyromaniacs. No, they don't. Wow, I'm surprised. We got 77 people live right now. Wow. I thought we'd have more. That's than pretty that. good for short notice, though. It is short. Yeah, very short notice. I have no. We have no, no prior notice on this whatsoever. So I guess 77 people is good. Yep. I'm happy with that. I guess. And they're from all around the world. Argentina, even. Wow. Yeah. Even today, like right now. Right now. Damn. Right, Brent. Hi, Argentina. Mac. Don't cry for me, Argentina. Oh, God, I knew he would do that. I knew it. Michael, you're such a drama queen. <laughs> the truth is... I and the relay... Oh, tell him what you're doing. Okay, so it's easier to swap out if you can just pop, pop it out it of out, a socket. It. Uh, and it gave us nice wires and everything to use instead of trying to solder into this little mess or use spade connectors and figure out the wiring pat pattern later. Uh, the good thing is with this harness, there's only one way it can go in. Can I do so it? You can, I do can't, it? can I do it? Can I do it? Cool. So only, only one way it goes in, right? So that way I can't mess it up. Is that it? You, use oh, use man. finesse, not force. Oh, okay. So there's only one way to do it. Yep. That's the wrong way. No, that, that, that was it. With you, dear. The force is weak with this one. There we go. That's together. <laughs> I pushed it a socket, baby! <laughs> <laughs> All right, oh, God. now we're going to program the uh, the thermostat before we... So you, you definitely want to program the thermostat before you plug it in. Otherwise, it could be operating things incorrectly. And go backwards, and therefore you get the smoke out of the AC unit and the alcohol hot turning on backwards. Yeah, you don't want to let the magic smoke out. It's really tough <laughs> to put it back in. Most people just throw it away at that point. So he actually has programming instructions for the thermostat online also. Yep. Oh, you know what? What? Actually... Thermistor? We're going to go install your thermistor, okay. mister. Okay. All right. We're going to hold off on the programming because it's yep. boring anyways. So. We're going to move. Just if you just heat that up enough, you can just run over there and do it real quick without mm, having to. No, not so much. It, it really cools pretty quickly. Okay, fine. Just bear with us as we relocate. Our dog making sure nobody disturbs us while he's making sure nobody disturbs us while we're live. And <laughs> I, I give him credit for that. Okay, go back to work. <laughs> Uh, I, I had to touch him to say to wake him up. Oh my gosh! Okay, we're moving over here because the thermistor, the the, the thermostat we are working on actually is over here. Yeah. See, I I, I was gonna well understand. Hey. I thought we were doing that one, and until we realized it won't fit, and so now we're gonna have a problem. You know, later on. Hey, Meester, here's your thermistor. So now under, understand. That joke's I'm never putting, gonna get old. No, it's very old already. Damn it. I'm, understand I'm just setting up my tripod here, guys, so enjoy the ride. So I'm, I'm unscrewing David's thermistor. Now, what no. I don't think I told David about uh -oh. is that we also are going to have to pop that. Oh, no! Because Tiffin puts a wide... Oh, you're, you're running more wires up in here, David. I am. Of course, that's my wire chase <laughs> for my, my networking and stuff. Yep. 
So in here, there's a blob of, uh, it's kind of like, it might be butyl tape. It kind of feels like butyl tape oh. that we have to pull away from the wire. Yeah, I don't know if you uh, vent duct as their wire chase as well. And then. Yeah, they do the same thing. Yeah. And then we have to pull that down. Yeah, man, your wires are really, there we go. Let don't move. mess with my wires, they I just work. moved them out of the way. Oh sure, you probably broke them now. Probably. Probably. Is the thermistor that looked like the little thing that we showed you earlier, but it's inside of there to make it nice looking and RV-ish. Yep. If something you can put on the ceiling. And it's tough to find these as a replacement that lets you uh, use the proper yeah, there's, there's no way to take the thermistor out of that, no, unfortunately. Unfortunately, Unless it's we tried all to melt it out. in there. Hey, check that out. 1337. Yeah. Shout out to my geek friends. We're leet. Okay, I don't know what that means. I didn't think you would. I mean, That's why I said shout out to my geek friends. Okay. And we're going to cut that. Uh, now it's over. Then we're going to grab a stripper. Not oh, that kind wait, of Wait, stripper. wait, 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 wait. Let, uh, let me get a dollar first. <laughs> Hey, don't laugh, man. I'll give you a dollar because I've seen I've... people do a lot of things for a dollar, even take their clothes off. What? Yeah. For a dollar? For a dollar. Man, it's I don't amazing. know where you're going. It's amazing. I need that card. <laughs> no, I don't. There, so, that lifty little tool again. Yep. And I'm actually going to splay these apart a little bit more because I need room for my uh, the heat shrink, which I laid over here. So it was convenient, and I would forget where it was. I don't get to do anything on this project. Yeah, well. Yeah, it's okay. My face is red. It's burning up. I can feel it. I touched my face. Oh, it is burning hot from the from the wind. Yep. It's okay. I love you, Michael. I did it all for you. <laughs> all in the name of love. Something like that. Well, well, go ahead and believe what you want to believe, Michael. Augusto's checking in from Brazil. Brazil. See? Even from Brazil. Augusto Hello from Brazil. Hello in Brazil. So I'm just uh, pre-tinning these wires again, just like we did the other wires. And hoping I don't blob solder in my eye. Yeah, really. Um, I don't carry insurance, so. No? No. Dang. Not for live shows or anything. I should, though. We get it how, do you, how do you keep your performers in good health? Feed them well. Oh, okay. All right, here, Thermistor. You had three of them. Yeah, okay, I see. You didn't put it back in the right spot. <sighs> My fault again. Yep. I'm actually gonna trim this one a little bit because I don't want to, probably couldn't even see that. Try not to bounce the camera around too much. Yeah. Because that gets people, you know, And then uh, I'm gonna bend this Thermistor wire a little closer than that. You don't want to bend it like right at the glass of the Thermistor because you, you can break, it. yeah, you can break the glass. But well, you want to have a nice bend because that will be sticking out of your ceiling. Next um, to it the... will be, but you'll be very hard pressed to see it. Because you'll have it on the other side of it. Yep. And then I'm going to pre tin these here. Hold this. Oh, good. I get, oh, yeah. You hold the little thing with the pre tinning. Oh, this will be fun. This is going to be a little warm for David. He's doing this on purpose, guys. Are you ready? We're just going to. Oh! <laughs> Man down! <laughs> for Mr. Tom. Yeah, I get one job, and what do I do? Man, see, this is why I don't let them hold hot things. Okay, that's pretend. <laughs> yeah, that thermistor is saying, ah! Was it's that saying the thermistor high, saying that, yeah, yeah. or was that your finger no, saying it that? It was the thermistor saying that, because okay. right now it's probably reading, you know, 140 degrees. <laughs> well, I'm set at 300 Celsius for this, so it probably is... Pretty warm. Yeah, oh... Good luck. Yeah, stage fright, it's it's jittering around. Oh, man, uh -oh. I really need to brace myself. You want me to hold it? Um, you don't actually, want no, I don't want you to hold it. Brandon would probably be better holding it because I shake. No, I'll, I'll just hold the two together Good like luck. that. Ooh, no pressure. Danger zone. Yay, that one's stuck. <sighs> Next. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh. Man, David really building up the anticipation here. Okay, ah, did we it got two stuff. It got it, it worked. Woo! <laughs> That's the hardest part right there. That really, it is. It really is, because it's up. In, you're up in the air, and you're trying to get these two wires together, and I'd be going, son of a bitch. Wait, I didn't get a picture. Can you do it again? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe on the next one. <laughs> All right, now we're going to melt some heat shrink. 
More in the blue flame only, please. Oh yeah, thank you. You're welcome. This again is just to protect this wires, even though this giant heat shrink has to go back through a little, little hole. Yeah. Don't break the thermistor. Don't overheat it either, because you'll break the thermistor that way too. Yep, you definitely will. And now we're going to let it cool just a little bit, because uh, otherwise it's gooey, and we're not going to play with gooey. We'll just leave that there for now. For just a moment. <sighs> How does that go? Oh, you guys are still watching. How does that go? <laughs> Have another drink, Michael. I am. He doesn't. I'm straight up he doesn't sober. drink. He doesn't yeah, drink. Yeah. I'm just. Uh, I, I know that. That's why I'm saying that. And I'm just messing. So up. here's the other thing. I'm gonna push this over so that it's kinked out at 90 degrees. That way it comes down beside the thermistor housing. So right now, if you know, I don't know if you can even see that. We've got a nice little ugly spot here in the ceiling where the old thermistor was. Is that even coming? Well. Don't. <laughs> All right. Loki might bite you if you call her other things. Oh, okay. So we're going to put it on the back side of the so thermistor so it. that you don't see it. Look at and that. then I'm going to cram this other little wire up in there. Just to get rid of it. Just to get rid of it. And then we're going to put screws back in. Look at that. See? You don't even see it's there. Kind of like magic. Hey, me. No, I guess I won't do that one again. <laughs> If you like what we're doing, please send a check to, I mean, <laughs> oh, PayPal works. You're right. I just, yeah, PayPal. Yeah. I'm not a Venmo kind of guy. I'm more of a PayPal guy. And uh, where did our little blob, oh, oh, there it is. The blob will go. Yep. So I'm just going to put that back in there. It, it's really unnecessary. Again, Entirely we're, unnecessary. we're working on a thermostat that is supposed, that is over here. But the, yep. the thermistor is over here because that thermostat back here controls the living room space. Quite technically, if Tiffin thought about it, this thermostat thermistor should be all the way up here somewhere. And it is in the There's another one. Actually, actually, Michael, we just screwed up. What? We just screwed up. Oh, oh. no, we did in the mid. Wait a minute. We might have just screwed up and put the wrong one in. <laughs> yes, because there is a thermostat up here. All the way up there. Yeah, but that's for that one. Are we doing the top one or the bottom one? We're doing the top one. The this top, is the mid. That's the mid. Okay, we got the right one then. Yay! Right? Yes. Hey, this, I this one is that one. one. Yeah, 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 yeah. I screwed up. We're all good. We're all good. Nothing to see here. Just look away. Don't look away. Well. <laughs> Sear it into your brain. I didn't screw up. Come on, so I David usually thought we screw were, up. David thought we were going to be doing this one first. Yes, I did. Which, used which the we front were thermistor. until we found out it didn't fit. Correct. If, we did the top one there, which is your mid thermostat. Which is right there. Which uses that thermistor. That's correct. Because the mid, the mid AC is actually mounted directly right above this. And so the input here... Sucks the cold... Sucks the, it sucks whatever the room temperature is that yep. way. So they put it That's next that. to here so it has to flow through it to get the proper room temperature. Therefore, taking the best reading possible. Did you clean it before you put it back on? Heck no. Oh, okay, I didn't for you. So. Yeah, I figured. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I'd ask. Okay, now we get to program. Okay, let me uh, take them back off the tripod. Uh, okay, there it is. All right, so this is thrilling. Are you ready? Edge oh. your seat here. Whoa. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> sorry, just come on and just... Program. Just, hey, at least it didn't spill out. Now, I'm just why, gonna move this. Tell them why. Out tell them again why we're pre-programming it. Uh, because when you plug it into the wall, you don't want it to do crazy things to your heating and cooling system. So you want to pre-program the thermostat so that it does the right thing. Because if it doesn't, it might blow up. No, it won't go bluey. So we're gonna scroll down here. David has his scroll direction reversed. I don't know what that's about. I come from Windows. Windows does it the right way too now. Now I come from Windows 7 <laughs> and it was annoying me. All right. So if you notice, I don't know if you can even see that, but here on the website, I've got an expanded full settings for everything that I did on my coach. Um, it includes the setting number so that it's easy to keep track of when you're going through the interface. Uh, so we're just going to do that now. We're going to we're going to start hit, setup. Start setup. Ooh. And we're going to edit this and say no schedule. Because we're going to be doing it over Z-Wave. If you don't Brand have Z-Wave. Does that show up on that screen? 
the display? Yeah. yeah. Okay, thank you. So we're setting no schedule, hitting done. Now we're gonna go to 130, we're gonna change, huh. That says 200. 130. Okay, there we go. We're gonna say yes to outdoor temperature sensor. Actually, outdoors, no. All right, we're trucking right along, 200. <laughs> <laughs> so the, uh, during the setup- Again, no alcohol was involved with this man. He's just screwing up yeah. normally, so, so it's okay. Hang on, let me redeem myself just okay, a little bit. go ahead. During the setup routine, the initial setup of the thermostat, it chopping my head off, David. I, I have to look back because the, the display know, monitor is back there. Um, it skips a bunch of the options because it thinks you're just going to want to do a quick setup and get this thing working. But we want the detail, so we have to go back and. It's all about the details. All about the details. All right, so uh, we're in number two hundred system type. We're going to change this to heat pump. Hit done. Okay. Got a light. I had that light above us that was right. reflecting. 205 air to air, that's fine. 218 OB on heat. See the light reflection? So we're going to hit edit there. OB on cool, we want OB on heat. See the light reflection? Yeah, yeah. Oh, get it off my bad. There. there you go. Better. And we're going to say, oh, oh, no, I messed that up. I got cancel, back, edit. Will be on cool. Just we follow the on instructions cool. online. You'll be yeah fine. on the on the website. It's much more clear. It, it, don't, it, don't on the us. website. It actually literally lists. This is what you put. This. This is what you put. This. This is what you put. This all by number. And that's what Michael's trying to do right now. And unfortunately, you have to Woo. go through this one time to set it all up. And Loki, I got Loki. Loki, <laughs> you're getting Loki love. Yeah, Loki exploring hey, Loki. The, the low regions. Loki love. Loki love. <laughs> Sorry, our guard dog. <laughs> Okay, 253, we're good there. We're gonna change our aux heat to gas or oil. Thermostat, uh, so this is 260. Don't worry guys, there's kit. only 400 more of these to go through. Right, yeah, it is actually rather a long list. Oh, heat stages, yes we want two. 350, we're on 350. Wait a minute, it skipped a bunch. 340, yep. Ox heat droop. Oh, okay. This one we're going to change to 15. Again, these are all online. 350 upstage, edit, off, okay, good. Balance point, off, good. Ox heat lockout, off, good. Compressor CPH three, compressor two CPH three, that's fine. Ox heat CPH five, good. Uh, 500, we're all the way up to 500 now because it skipped a bunch. Uh, so indoor sensor, we're gonna hit edit and we're gonna say yes, because that's what tells it to use that sensor that we just wired up on the ceiling. And it is a 10K sensor, so we're gonna leave that. To, uh, we're not gonna average, we're going to change this to wired only. Uh, so we use that wired thermostat only and finish setup. But what about the other ones that skipped? So we're uh, we're actually going to go back and check those after we set the time and date. Uh, so this is November. Hey, anybody know what day it is? 26. 26, okay, good. 2019. Use daylight savings, yes, for right now. Format. You like 24 hour or 12 hour? 12 hour. Man. I know you military types, I know. Yep. Not that there's anything wrong with being military. And it is not 1 p.m. It is currently 621. Oh, you went past it. Nope. No? Seriously? You have to go all the way through like that? Well, but it jumps 10 minutes at a time when you After get up. After it gets oh, to the point. Yeah, I, I let go too soon. Uh, that's not normally a problem I have. <laughs> I was going to say that's what she said. Mm, no. Mm, no. I preempted your... Yeah, uh, yeah you, you, you beat me. <laughs> okay, there we go. 621. It's probably 622 in a second now. Doesn't matter. Okay. It'll get set by Z-Wave anyway after oh, that. After we pair that. Oh, look, Z-Wave set up. Uh, we're not going to set it up right now because oh, okay. we just don't want to... Okay, now it's saying, hey, people. there's a problem because it doesn't... Can't sense the outdoor temp... Or that, the indoor And that would be true there. because it's not plugged into anything. Correct. It is not plugged into anything. Uh, now, if you... Uh, is it menu? I think if you press and hold menu... 
for like five seconds. There we go, it. we get back to device setup. Uh, there's also a screen lock, a system test, a reset, range stops. So we're gonna use the device setup. Uh, we've got that, Fahrenheit, yes, no outdoor. We're just rescanning the, the settings real quick here. Yeah, just making sure that we got everything set properly, air to air, OB on heat, good. Compressor stages two, good, aux one, blah, blah, blah. Where are you now, to 300? Yep, 300. Auto, uh, no. Auto changeover should be off. Okay, good. And no high cool stage. Off, no. Okay, finish, good. Uh, aux heat droop 15, good. Yeah. 350 off. should be off. I'm just making sure this says off when it comes back around. Off. Okay, good. Off balance. Off. Okay. Heat lockout is off. Yep, good. I'm reading the screen. Yep. Uh, 365? Uh, 375 now. Oxy okay, I know that's good. Five minute. Uh, 387, is that one on there? Yep, yep. five minutes. Compressor is five good. minutes of protection. That, that's to protect the compressor from turning back on too soon and, yep. and overheating or jamming or whatever they call it. It's just bad. Just, yeah, short just, cycling. It, that's it, short cycling. It's just bad. Yep, so the minimum cool temperature is 50 degrees, max heat temperature is 90 degrees, yes, indoor, 10K sensor, wired. Uh, we'll worry with the and as, stuff. And as Michael later. put it perfectly on his website, the rest are up to you. So you're on your own. <laughs> yep. All right, so now let's. That uh, is let's, set. Now we get to go plug this in plug and this. Test it. Now, again, just a reminder hi, Loki. You want to say hi to everybody out there? Hi, say hi. You want to, come on, you can come with us. Okay, just a reminder everyone, We the reason we did all this is so we can use the Tiffin original wiring uh, connectors. Yep. So this makes it easy just to put it right back to Tiffin's original wiring in the motor coach. That is why we went through the process of doing all that soldering and everything. Now understand, doing this live like this, it takes us longer because we're going through it and we're talking about it. This is normally, how long would you think it would take to do um, one one of these? Maybe 20 minutes. Yeah. With the instructions online, once you understand what it is, it's about a 20-minute install. We, now, we're going to... We're so, just having fun with you guys. Normally, I would go ahead and mount this before you put it in here because it's really tough to separate. Uh, but just for the sake of the live show, I don't want to... Are you going to be able to separate it? Yes. Okay. I'll, I'll be able to keep them separated. Okay. Done. Cheers, cheers. Hi, Loki. Again. Um, yeah, I use a screwdriver I put in there and just pop it out. So anyway. Okay, so we're here gonna we go. go ahead and... Oh! Oh, air conditioner or something came on. AC came on. Oh yeah. He's now checking his wiring. But we don't know what mode that's in, so that could be true. Well, it's off and auto, so it should not be blowing the air. So maybe this side of the wiring harness is different. Uh, Hold on, let me go see. Bum, bum, bum. Dang See, these live shows! You, go live? It's, <laughs> you never know what's going to happen, and and we did not expect the AC to come on. And here we are trying to teach you guys how to do this. Um, and I have you know that I said to Michael, "You sure you don't want to do one before we go live, just in case it's different?" Blue to yellow, white to white, black, red to yellow, yellow to white, black. Yeah, that's all right. Uh oh. Hold Rock on. roll. Rock roll. Please hold while we experience technical difficulties. <laughs> yes, I should have a please hold placeholder come up. Here, go watch Loki lay and sleep by the door. Menu. So we're going to go to system test. Oh, no. You sure? Yeah. You want to do that? Even though you might be wired wrong? So, ah, there, that's what the issue was. The relay? It, so it defaulted to heat mode. Yeah, so it, it, okay. Okay, he knows what's wrong, but I think, I don't know if it's fixed. So we're going to do a fan test. So fan is off. Yeah. And on? Yes. And on low. I hear it running on low. Yay! It is running. Listen carefully. You can probably hear it against my microphone. Okay. Okay. Fan off. Yes, it is. Good. Done. Uh, yeah. Oh, no. Actually, this is the mid, so it doesn't actually have the emergency heat. Correct. It does not. So we'll have to actually turn that back off in there because... I set it up for emergency heat. That's right, heat. that's right. The, the, so, the, the center ones, go ahead. Yeah, so the emergency heat um, on these thermostats is actually going to be using the AquaHot heating system. Uh, but on Tiffin coaches, and I think probably most other coaches, but it, it may vary by manufacturer, 
Tiffin only has two zones for the aqua hot heat, a front and rear. So the mid thermostat doesn't actually control your aqua hot heat at all on Tiffin motor coaches. It only does your air conditioning. Yep, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna back out of this and go change that setting real quick, just because I can. Heat pump, air to air, OB heat, compressor, good, edit. So we're changing aux slash E stages to zero and hit done. Emergency stages. Yep, and then we're gonna go back and now we're gonna go back to our system test and now we do not have an emergency heat test. Yay. And uh, we're gonna do Don't a do cool- Don't do the cool test, they'll do no? blackout five minutes, remember? Yeah, I know, but we won't, we won't show the testing of the heat stage. Okay. So test stage zero. Can't Ooh. test the heat stage anyways because there's no heat stage on that. You, yeah, you have a heat pump. Well, there. the heat pump, that's correct. Yeah. That's correct. It's gonna to be tough to tell if it's cooling though, although we do hear the compressor running. I heard the compressor running and it does yep. feel like cool air, but it's cold outside. But then again, it's not bringing outside air, it's bringing inside air, Correct. converting it to cold air. Yep. So that is working. So, and notice it's on low fan right now? I do. Now, if I go to stage two, high fan. High fan. Yay! Whoop, whoop. So my wiring was right. And now we're off. Ta-da! And I'm gonna hit done. Now, we can't really, actually, it's really cold outside and we didn't really heat Yeah, don't, we don't wanna. Yeah, it probably it, it won't, won't even It won't even anyway. activate it. Yep. The, it. It's 30, it's below 30 degrees outside right now, I believe. And it, because of that, cold. we can't turn the heat pump on. The, the external heat pump won't activate if it's below 45 oh, that's degrees. that's right. So yeah. it won't even turn on. That's why we had the fan running that's earlier, correct. but we didn't hear the compressor kick It on. probably tried to turn on the heat pump, which yep. we shouldn't have had on in this place, on this thermostat to begin with. Well, this one, no, this one we can. Yep. Aqua hot, different, different thing. But so, it tried to turn on the heat pump, which it can't do. Yeah. We have successfully yes, we installed have. a thermostat. It we was just got to mount it to the wall next. Yeah, that's the next and, part. I mean, do you guys want to watch that? I mean, you really, really. don't have to. I mean, seriously, you, you, know, you can you go can, back to like you can figure it out. But all these wires basically get stuffed back in. He's gonna just disconnect this with this little doohickey knifey. Ooh, a doohickey knifey. A doohickey knifey. I'm don't actually use gonna the, use the corkscrew. Ooh. So I'm gonna just thread that in. That's a little trick. And then pull. Look at that little trick. I popped the cork. Yay, wine. Wait, what? What? Okay, so then what happens is this. All these wires that used to be in here just go back in there, including the new relay. Yep. Yeah, I actually put the relay in first because it takes more room than yeah. the rest. And now we got another one of these we gotta do. So yes. that's gonna, so. we gotta make sure that's to the side. Yep, so we push that off to the side. We push these in and off to the side. Get in there. Wrangle that mess. Wiggle it around, shake it, stir it, turn it upside down. And then we can mount this. Right there. Yep. With a screw and then Pops right on there. Yep. This little sucker will end up, turn it upside down. There we go. I'll end up going right here. Ta da! That's what's going to happen. Yep. And then we have a programmable thermostat. And we can exit out of the test mode. And look, there it is, 71 degrees. And I techie, and 71, let's do this. Let's have some fun. Let's go one step. Let's, let's, go, let's geek out one more time. We're going to come over here. Somebody's oh, look chasing at me. you. Look at you. You're so cute on your bed. I'm going to reach up here into my little what dandy I'm not in bed. tool kit and I'm going to grab my oh, I'm going to grab my IR gun. Just because we geeky like this. I'm going to take a reading up here. And you can see we get a reading of 70 something degrees. 76.8. Yeah, read 76.8. Oh, let's hit the thermistor. Yeah, read, read the thermistor, mister. Oh, also it's disconnected right oh, now when you oh, showed that. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yep. That, we have it all disconnected. Oops. Yeah, that wouldn't give but, a good reading. Yeah. I, I screwed up. But anyways, right now up there with the heat gun, it's 77 degrees. So when he plugs it back in at some point. Do you want it centered on this? Um, well, we want it centered, yeah. So. Well, centered, but... Okay, I'll just center based on the hole. Yeah. Because that's off a, just a little slightest Oh, don't say bit. my thing is off. It's perfect, man. I, I loaded that sucker right I mean, up. I can center it Just on put that. it on there and do it right, mister. All right. Well, hey. You Wait, you're going to use that giant screw again? <laughs> there could be wires behind there. <laughs> From this. And you just put a giant hey, no magic screw. Smoke. No magic smoke came out? Oh, uh, boy. Here, look. We can... I can even see no. the green light okay. behind your tape. Good, good. <laughs> I, I look at the screw he's putting in. I warned him about that. It's it's a big screw. It's a big ass screw. Oh man, I can't use my level. Wait a minute. Nope. Maybe. Maybe not. 
All you got to do is hold this up here. Okay. No, it, it's good. It's good right there. All I got to do is hold this up here. I'm just going to screw it right see there. See where it fits and then see if it's level. And then you can push it on because it's going to push oh, it to the same you point. Know what? Yeah. It's, it's going to push it. I got to align it with the coach, not It's going to move it. over. No, that's where it's going to be. Okay. Enjoy. I mean, I, if it's on level, Brenda's going to get them. Well, it's going to be level with the coach. It's not going to be. Again, the jig giant ass screw. Oh, that kicks me. Living on the edge. Yeah, my edge, my coach, my fry. Oh, what's that smoke from? What? Is that Your supposed, ears? Is that supposed to be there? Now, see, now it's on level. Bastard. Shh. Turn it off. Turn it off. Quick, cut, cut. <laughs> I told you it wasn't level. Wait a minute. It moved a little bit because of the screws, that's all. Yeah, yeah, now you can't move it. Yeah, I can. Okay. See, it moved yeah, a lot. Yeah, 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 yeah. We do this a lot of back and forth. Don't, don't think I'm mad at him. I'm not mad at him. We do this a lot. You better have fixed it. Oh, look! That looks pretty darn no. good. It's crooked. No, it's not. What? I just fixed it. Yeah, please use shorter screws. Yeah, exactly. Thank you, Mac. Use shorter screws, Mac says. All you had to do is... All you had to do was ask for a level right here. Look. What? You got a tiny one? Yeah. All oh, you that's do... not. You can't. Oh, you had it. Yes, no, you, you can. can. It's a level. It's meant for the string. Well, you just put it on but there. It's a level. It it's a level. You, but your coach a bubble is, a level. is a bubble. Remember? Because you tipped it to just the back. Just make it look pretty. I know, that's what I did. Just make it look pretty. That's what I did. Okay. See, but it doesn't line up with this now. Your office. Well, I can't help. Way. I can't help that you put that in crooked. Do you want me to get a measuring tape? <laughs> you want me to? Because we measured this sucker. You really, I mean, I can slide it over. You can't because you have to put another hole in because the top hole is not slidable. That's just leave it alone at this point. And you'll know I'll move it later because it's going to drive me nuts because it's off center. No, it's not. Yes. If I measure all the way to the edge of that wood oh, and all God, the way to the edge God, of this wood. He doesn't understand. He really doesn't. <laughs> me and my OCD part of me, come on. He knows. Well, she does not know. I'll be moving that later. <laughs> I'm not going to let him put the other one on. He can wire it and everything. I'm just not going to let him put it on. Do you? Just, we got to end the conversation. We got this all working now, and we showed that it can be used. So we got to end this very this long stream. So I'm gonna go in and adjust the uh, offset for the thermistor. Mac really wants you to use shorter screws. Because the DC current isn't a joke. <laughs> Max says DC current isn't a joke. Use shorter screws. Damn you, Michael! I added that part. <laughs> Rich and Sue says, "How fun would it be for you to have the popper go off and David would freak out?" I, I was waiting for the the smart tanks to open up and start dumping dumping sewage. Nah, you know, they're, 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 they're they're online and everything. Don't get me wrong; I'm just joking with them. So, what's the reading up there, Michaels? Just say just say what it's supposed to say. It's seventy, whatever that says. Okay, <laughs> it, this says seventy four. Yeah, this is 77. Oh, that's close enough, right? Yeah, it's pretty close. It's off. I did I, I did adjust the offset. It, it only allows a maximum of three degrees offset adjustment. So the rest is probably due to the wiring or maybe I put a screw through the wire. Who knows? But it's close. It's close. All right. This is what, Michael from TurtleHerding.com. Once we get used to it, it's close. Wait, what, we're not signing close. off? It's close, he says. It's close. <laughs> the, the thermistor is showing one thing. Well, then again, we can't exactly say that the IR... Oh, I'm, I'm up here. Hi. Oh, yeah. Uh, the, the, IR, IR, the IR reading is accurate. We can't say that either. Um, those are only... Those tools, those type of IR readers are only used for general purposes only. They're not used for exact measurements. So I will say that, Michael. Yep. Okay, now if I got out and freaked out Michael and I pulled out my, my um, which I should do just to freak him out, I should pull out, I actually have a thermal camera that is uh, accurate. I do too. You got one too? Yeah. You probably have the same one I do. Actually, so yeah, I do have a thermal camera, a real thermal camera by a real company that would actually take a real reading, but I'm not going to do that. He's pulling, he's pulling apart. He's going to redo the Shh, damn thing. Don't show this. <laughs> you, oh, Brenda's going to get mad. Why? Because now you're dropping it lower even. Well, but do you not want it lower? I just want it over. I know. Okay. But I, if I try to move it over just by gotta, how much it was off, it's okay, not going to. Okay, you're going to screw it on. Oh, now it's sideways. Oh, God, Michael. You're. 
taking chances now. Oh, I could have just used regular Tiffin flat screws and short do, ones. Okay, do you have some? Well, I do, but I would have to go get them and... Oh, see, now you just do this and just lay, level it like that. Where's my level? Like this to this. That's not going to work. It's not science. Shut up. It's science. <laughs> it's a bubble level. It's science. It's physics. Yep. Yeah, Physics is your friend. We'll, we'll talk about this offline. Yeah, I know. <laughs> watch. Physics works. Gravity. Gravity does work. But now watch when I hold this up here. I bet it's crooked. Oh, look, what? it's not. You must have oh! re-leveled the coach. Yeah, I did. I re-leveled uh, the coach, but you weren't okay, looking. Okay. Bust. <laughs> <laughs> now he's going to put... No, don't do it. Don't put the long screws in. Okay, okay. You're going to freak out my viewers because they know how anal I am about shit like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I will put the shorter screws in. Don't worry. It'll be in place. It'll be solid. So, I'm going to put this camera back down right here. And Michael can sit back in his little seat. And just to follow up on all this. This, is, this was uh, to show you that a home programmable thermostat. Um, smart thermostat in this case because we're using Z-Wave technology mm -hmm. and there's a reason for that. We chose this because of our motor coaches and, and the way we're using our coaches and the software and stuff that we have running in our coaches to do certain things. But anyways, it's just to show you that you can have, even though even though this is Z-Wave and you might not use Z-Wave at all, it doesn't matter. It's a programmable thermostat. That's all you really need to know because you can set it based on day, day and time. Yep. So you can say at nighttime at 8 p.m., whatever, you know, cool the coach down to 68 degrees for sleeping or whatever your chosen value is. Yeah. Um, and you can do that for each zone. Every morning we would normally have to get up, set each thermostat to get the coach temperature. And every night we'd have to set each thermostat, three of them, to bring the coach back down to sleeping temperature. Now we have a programmable thermostat mm -hmm. thanks to these instructions by Michael. Thank you, Michael. No problem. And we just had fun with you guys doing this and I hope you guys enjoyed our little sideshow comedy act. Right. And uh, just, just as an FYI, if you don't need a smart thermostat, you can get just the standard uh, replacement thermostats from Lowe's or Home Depot, like 20 bucks, that 30 bucks, that are programmable. Uh, some of them will do uh, just day night. Some of them will do two sets of ranges. So like if you're commonly away during the day working or whatever, you can have it adjust in the daytime to save energy. Some of them will do weekends and weekdays as different uh, settings and some of them will let you do full seven day programmability. So if, if you just want something that's programmable, you can get away a lot cheaper than we did using the Z Wave. Yeah, we went with the Z Wave because we want we, we have some other extra things features. that we want to do. Yep. So, um, any case, so this shows you it can be done as mentioned earlier in the program. This is something that if you follow the instructions step by step, it'll. Mm -hmm. Us, Michael, he can, we can do an install of one of these in about 20 minutes. Yep. However, you walking through the instructions, reading them step by step, it may take you 45 minutes maybe because you're following along. But once you do one, it's, it then is easier to flow. The hardest thing in my particular eyes of this whole stupid thing is the damn program settings you have to have because they have to have so many different program settings in the thermostat because they don't know how it's going to be used. They don't know the situation of the home that it's supposed to be going into. So they have all these different settings that you can set. And once you have them set correctly, it will work in a motor coach. Mm -hmm. So that was, that was part of the difficulty was figuring out what settings have to be set in which way. Yep. So the motor coach can, the, the, the connectivity of the motor coach wiring would work properly. So, to me, the wiring part of it, the soldering, the putting the thermistor in, things like that, even though that's probably the hardest soldering point is the thermistor on the ceiling, just because of the, you know, the yep. getting up there and doing it. So that might be the most swearing part you have. But remember to pro if you do one of these thermostats, program it before you put it on the wall because it'll freak out, not because it won't be programmed. And when you plug it in, it's going to freak out because all the settings that it, it, the wiring is different than the settings. So you just want to make sure you program that first before you plug it in. And that's another good reason that it's battery powered because yep. you can program it before you put it on. So in any case, this shows it can be done and we done did it. We done did it. Now we have to do two more of them and one of which we have to figure out how we're going to get the damn thing in the wall. Um, yippee. And uh, if not, it's going to be hanging out of the wall until the I smaller relay comes in. I have an in. idea. We'll just pull the fridge out. Put the relay around the corner. And put it back there. Yeah. That'll work. 
yeah stick around for that have fun but anyways next time you might see michael is uh on a video that we're going to be talking about how you can ev charge or, or charge excuse me mm -hmm. your ev vehicle your electric vehicle if you've ever been desiring or own an electric vehicle and wanted to take it rving with you you'll soon be able to do that thanks on once again a do-it-yourself project that uh, michael has in 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 encased in a little uh, way and that's I don't know of, of a way to say it Michael yeah. Michael came, I came up, with, up a, with a process with a process yep. and because of that and I, can, can we let them in on a, just a little secret of course so it lets you charge Wait, how level the secret well you already know okay I mean, that's not a secret right I probably said it he's probably already told people <laughs> so it lets you charge your electric vehicle off the same 50 amp plug that your coach is using because it monitors the amount of power your coach uses and tells the electric vehicle charger how much is left over to use to use and i so mentioned that you don't trip a and breaker. i did already say that earlier in the show oh, so yeah, i did you, give it away well and yeah we talked about it well you talked about it on the uh, live drive too yes i did it, and just for people who may not know at continuous use breakers are only rated to you to allow 80 percent of their current which is 40 40 amps. amps for 50 amp even though it's a 50 amp breaker they're only rated for 40 amps of continuous use the the, the residual 10 is burst if you will yep short term use and the ev charging takes 40 amps yep that's maximum the ev chargers do yep. unless you're using a 240 volt system then it's well you can get a high power charge, but that's all for another story that's anyways yeah. it has nothing to do with thermostats <laughs> but thermostats. it's a Back show it's a show coming soon it won't be live because we we've shot we've we did the install on this motor coach mm -hmm. um yesterday we actually did the install so we are getting a tesla model x next week um uh, Brendan and I ordered a Model X. We ordered a trailer to tow it on. Yes, we're going to be towing the trailer. We came to see Michael because he did the work uh, and the, the diligence on how to make an EV possible on the road. And we finally are able to go EV uh, because of just this gentleman here. And uh, we've been wanting to do it for years, but we just couldn't, you couldn't do it in our eyes, um, even though he's been doing it for a number of years. Yep. Um, now we've he, he wrote this code. We're doing it, but that's coming soon. Nothing to do with this project. We hope you enjoyed the show. We're going to get out of here now. Yep. I'm David. I'm Michael. And back there is Brenda. Hi. And a Loki, our guard dog, yeah. sleeping. And we're out of here. And we're, uh, we'll see you next time. Well, Michael and I will see you on a future video. Brenda and I will see you on the road on Saturday as we do a live drive. Other than that, we're going to go do uh, two more thermostats. Thermo yeah. Take care. Keep safe. Bye -bye. See you on the road. Oh, wait, I have to go push the button to turn it off. Okay. It is so hard <laughs> to get stable help. <laughs> That's going to be the live.